Hey, egg Benedict today. Oh, it's, it's one a great day. of my absolute favorites. Is Order it really for brunch awesome. every time. Well, mm -hmm. let me show you how easy these are to put together. So first of all, let's start with the eggs because this is very important. When you're preparing the eggs, you get them correctly done. Now, I wanted to show you here. I have a fine mesh strainer and I've cracked an egg in there and I'm letting all of that real watery egg white drain off of there. And that is so important because it's that watery egg white that's going to give you kind of the egg drop soup in when you uh, poach these eggs. So let's come on over here to the poaching liquid. So the poaching liquid is nothing more than just some water and I've added about a cup of white vinegar to it. And that's all it is. You just want it to come up to a simmer so you can start to see around the edges here and the water's moving, it's beginning to boil. So I'll just turn that down so it's a simmer. That's very important. Now, this is the other thing that's really important when you're doing the Egg Benedict. I'm gonna start that in just kind of a circular motion to get that water moving. And then I'm gonna very carefully just lower that egg right into there. The reason for this is if I don't have the water moving when I add that egg into it, it's gonna stick to the bottom of the pan. And so that's kind of an important thing you don't want it to do. And then just to make sure, I just kind of take my spoon and just make sure that that egg isn't going to stick to the bottom of my pan. And let's turn that down so it's simmer. You don't want these to ever come to a boil because it can break the egg up while it's in there. This is gonna poach now for about about four to five minutes. It depends on how you like your poached eggs for your eggs benedict. So now that we're getting the eggs poached there, I'm gonna keep working on the fresh hollandaise sauce that I'll show you how to put together when we come back because hollandaise sauce, oh, it's everyone, the best. it is the best, especially when you make it from scratch. All right, I can't wait. Yeah. Uh, Good know, tips on those eggs, too. Thanks. You know that Jade and I have a lunch date in your kitchen today. <laughs> no, I was mm -hmm. unaware of that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. At at 101. 101. Yeah. We'll see and how And I bring well in Lindsay works. as a plus one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on back. All right. Aging gracefully. Very important. Yes, that's exactly. With Eggs Benedict. For some of us, yeah. Well, that's what Ron's doing. <laughs> yes, and I'm sure it's exactly. all because of the Eggs Benedict. All Let's right, finish these up. So I have the egg yolks in here that I have heat tempered so that they're food safe. To this, I've added one stick of butter. And as you add that into it, you're just going to add that butter in slowly and whisk it in as you're uh, adding the butter into it. Let me move that over there to the side. Now once you get that all finished, what you're going to do is you're going to take about a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, you're going to squeeze that into it, whisk that into it, and salt and pepper to taste, of which I have already added the salt and pepper into this. And you can see it creates an emulsion much like a mayonnaise, and that's exactly how you create a hollandaise sauce. Very simple, very easy to put together. Now I have over here the, the English muffins that I've toasted. I love the tomatoes on these with some Canadian bacon. I actually added the tomato to one so you could see what that looks like. And then I've added the poached eggs on top of it. So it's very simple to do. We're gonna finish it off with some of our hollandaise sauce right over the top. And honestly, I don't think there's anything better than fresh hollandaise sauce. It is so delicious. I even love hollandaise sauce on uh, poached salmon. I don't know if you guys have ever had that, but that is amazing also. Add some of that onto there. I'm gonna finish this off with sprinkling it with some freshly chopped parsley and voila, we have some amazing Eggs Benedict that were so easy to make. Now, this Eggs Benedict recipe is featured on cookingwithchefbrian.com. You can head on over there or to KUTV.com. Either way, it's a great thing to have any time of the day, but especially for brunch, guys.